What's up everybody, it's me Mutt. Today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to extract Valorant player models into Blender. So first of all, we're going to open up the links in the description below. First off is the Unreal Engine Viewer. Click Download. Download Windows version if you're Windows, Linux if you're Linux. Don't know about Mac, but there's going to be a Windows tutorial. So if you're 64-bit, should not matter. I'm 64, so it doesn't matter. So click 32. Now that you've downloaded that, in the zip file, we're going to go to GitHub which is going to be a Blender add-on. Click Download, Download Zip. Then we're going to go to Mega, download the shader. I know it says Fortnite, but just don't mind that. Then if you don't have Valorant closed beta downloaded, go to the Google Drive and download all the packs. Now that you have that and in an accessible location, you want to extract these two zip files into a folder. Uh, make sure they're separated. So this is my U mod, this is my add-on, and then here's my shader, and I already have the game personally downloaded, so we don't need the pack files. So now that you have these three things, we're going to click U mod, U model.eac, and then you're going to click the three dots on the right. I'm going to go to where the pack files are installed, and if you already have the game installed, you're going to go to the location that it is. So right games, Valorant live shooter game content packs and then select folder click ok now we have a menu brought up saying aes encryption key is required so if you want to find the latest one go to discord go to uh yeah the discord that i sent in the description it's going to only pop up these two tabs click rules react to it and then it's going to give you perms all these click aes key and then you're going to have the valorant key which is could be updated at any time so make sure you find the latest one go back to here paste it in and then click ok now click flat view character but not care it's just char select and then you are brought up with a bunch of little uh, models so you want to make sure you go down to where it says characters so game slash characters and then find your character now if you don't know the actual name of your character, you're going to have to go through these. So, Pandemic is Viper, Sarge is Brimstone, Phoenix is Phoenix. Uh, not sure about everybody because I haven't gone through. But Wushu is going to be Jet, and that's who we're going to be using. So, click Open. Now, for our Unreal uh, version, we want to be going to 4.22. Click OK. And then we have our character. If this is who we want, click Tools export current object or control X make sure it's in the folder you want and then click OK I'm clicking it cancel because I already have it installed now that we have that we're gonna go to blender click a new file delete the cube and then go to edit preferences install which is right here if you did not know click install go to the add-on where you just downloaded so Blender import PSK, add-ons, and download the one with the largest number. So for me, it's 280. Click it, install add-on. I've already installed that as well. Now type in search PSK and enable this. And if it's not enabled, it's not going to really work. So now that you have that enabled, click file, import, skeletal mesh.psk. Go to where you downloaded your model. So for me, Go, it's my umod file, umod export, game, characters, wushu for me is jet, so, char select, character select, models, and then click the skeletal mesh.psk. So now that we have our character, we have them there. And then as you can see, they're pretty squared out in polygons. So you want to select the character, click object, and then shade smooth. So now it kind of smooths them out. And then you also see a bunch of bones and stuff over their face. So you want to click the one with the two overlapping spheres, or circles, and then click bones. So now you can see your character, but they are grayed out. So you want to click shading at the top. See them again. We're going to take out the bones again. Now they're still gray. So you want to click file, append, and then go to where you downloaded your shader. Click it, node tree, and then standard. Now you've installed the shader, you want to delete the green box, not the red one, but the green big box, delete it, click use nodes, and then click add, 
FN shader standard. You can click it and then drag the shader to the surface. So as you can see, it reapplied a new shader to it. And so we have this. Now, over here, we're going to go to where you downloaded your, uh, your pack. Let me find here. Game mod. All right. You mod export game characters. Mine is Wushu. SO. 3P materials. So this is going to be the chest. Uh, the chest looks like it would be this one. Make sure it says uh, the right one. And you want to drag color to diffuse. So now we have this. And then we're going to drag our map over here. And color to normal. So now we have our character with shade. Uh, what it kind of does is adds the, the material, I guess you could say, other than just the color. So we've had those two. And then we're going to go to uh, materials. So that the sphere, the red sphere, towards the bottom of our right side panel. Then we're going to want to go to uh, arm. Actually, no, we'll do arms last. Hair, click use nodes. Delete the green box. This is their hair. Color, oh damn it, I forgot to add the shader. FN, sh FN shader. Shader to surface, color to diffuse, and then we can just use the same one here as well. Uh, color to normal. Now we have their hair. Then we can do head, which will be just this blob of a thing. So we're going to delete this. Add FN shader. Shader to surface. Head to here. Color to diffuse. And then uh, it looks like this one's going to also be the head color to normal. Okay. So now we have all those. Uh, the eyes we'll talk about in just a second. Now we're going to go to SO, which are the arms. Click node. Delete the green box. Add FN shader. Shader to surface. And then the arms are in a different folder for some reason. So we're going to go back to 1P models materials drag this down color to diffuse then this one to normal so now we have their whole model uh, looks pretty clean uh, not much you can do with that and then in layout we're gonna go into the top right and then click the shading so now we actually can see our character uh, depending on if you want light or not you can click the other one Thank you for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment any questions that you have in the description below. I will happily answer them. Anyways, thank you for watching. Peace out.